Okay, here's the scoop on the update of the Airstream. Look at what we have done. These are now white with a smiley face. We're not uh, painting this because we're getting it replaced. So look what we've done today. We have started the painting process. So we primed it and then we painted it and we're going to have to paint again and maybe again. Hopefully just two rounds. And then we raise this so that the little in the in can actually thread so that's threaded and I uh, just need to connect there. I don't know what you saw last time you were here, but um, and then we're gonna have to strip this all down to this white vinyl plastic. I don't know what it is here, but this uh, blue stripper that we have here, this stuff. Um, never really liked it, never used it much, never never liked it. And it stung when it got to you and it smelled bad. This stuff worked much better. You had to leave it overnight, it wasn't like the fast acting. Uh, but it worked so much better. So I'm going to get my third bottle of that and this stuff, boo on it. And it just left a mess and it never, it didn't really strip this at all. But we didn't have enough, um of the red to work and this is where the pink red stuff was at and it stripped it pretty decently and um, we got this all shiny but now it's dirty again so to what's left you ask so we're gonna put a raised floor here in the bathroom cover all this clean this all up obviously and then a raised floor in here to cover all this electronics and so this is just a closet we're gonna put some switches like four or five of these DC switches, right, lining there uh, to run the pump, to run this, you know, these little blowers that it has, and to run in here, and um, where the line goes from this. Did I already tell you that I had ran line all the way, and this fan has been working just great? Anyways, we decided to keep this little thing, even though I'm not using these speakers. Uh, we're going to get rid of this. I went shopping the other day and got those. I guess I can show you this. This is what they would look like. Um, but we decided we need an on-off switch on them. So may have to return them for and find a different version that has an on-off button. Boop, boop. Like how this has on-off. Um, or a little toggle switch for these lights. And we're getting rid of this one, uh, but we'll have the 12 volt. Maybe we'll put a like little strip, but we didn't want to hit our head on these things. And then maybe just an electrical uh, input output there. And we kept that, and uh, it's a great place to put. I'm still in talks. We're going to be talking to Bravin about getting one of these speakers, and we'll put it right there. It'll be awesome. And uh, we're thinking about keeping one little fishy. I got rid of the others and they just kind of broke into pieces. That's it right there. I uh, wrapped uh, this electrical tape and I put tubing around it. It looks like the tubing just got thrashed by the scrapings and uh, there's going to need some cleaning to be done. But we need a shop back around here ASAP. Uh, I still need to put the the shower um, place. Yeah, so we can have it held up top and I probably need to get a new fridge I don't know what's going on and uh, I don't know these two fridges may just be a mess and I just need to plug in the propane and see if that works and propane's pretty close we should probably just test it uh, windows and there was a big huge rainstorm and we just have a makeshift cover for this and that blew off and let some water in and then it blew out this one that wasn't really put in tight and as you can see broke it so we need a new piece of plexiglass and um, then we tried out the generators and it ran the whole inside of here just fine uh, when we ran the generator um, but we're trying to figure out a system to hold the two generators as we're traveling down the road so I don't have to take one in and out every time I want to run the AC and that's what it's for the two generator system and running in parallel runs the AC so, what else? Got painting supply, got paint, started, well, obviously you see the paint, and then got a hold of the um, 
guy doing the furniture and his dad had died. So that's why I hadn't been heard from him forever. So, you know, once we get the air conditioner in, the electrical kind of finished, uh, work on the drapes, uh, we just, uh, the night before we take it to the guy for the furniture, we'll just put in the new floor and put in the furniture. And then it's just kind of small details and certainly still a lot of polishing to do on the outside. But I think tomorrow we just need to get this, if we can get this looking cool, then it'll be like, oh, this done here. And then with the new floor, then it's like done, done back here. Um, and then run the electrical, just kind of got to get that all figured out. So I need to get a hold of goal zero to get the stuff so we can start figuring uh, the placement of everything. So that's my story. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed these updates. There's certainly a bunch of them and hopefully you're getting a view of my Airstream and how it's kind of coming along. Doesn't seem like much, but I think everything's going to start pulling together real fast.